Hello YouTubers and welcome to Chris and Tim's Simple How-To Videos. Today's video is going to be, well, it's going to be a combination of things. Display has stopped responding. Um, but this is actually causes a lot of problems and it doesn't always say display has stopped responding down there. It's sometimes it's just black screens and your game crashes or you think it's crashed, you know. Um, a lot of times this is a memory issue. Not always a bad memory. Now my problem, I did have a bad memory stick and when I got a new memory stick it fixed it but I want this is always last resort I've actually fixed hundreds of people's computers without them having to change their memory first so I want you to go through these steps first and rule it out um, power supplies now if you have a, a cheaper power supply I recommend at least 650 watts to 750 anything past 750 is pretty much overkill unless you're running a lot of bells and whistles triple SLI or crossfire cards and things like that if you have a bunch of lights and you know display screens and so on and so forth unless you have a lot of that I definitely don't recommend anything more than 650 to 750 watts okay all right um, also you want to make sure your memory is seated properly now before you go into your box make sure you have no static electricity on your body uh, touch the side of your case whatever it takes all right and also uh, you know same thing try to keep it dust free uh, CPU now the stock coolers let's just say they pretty much suck with almost everything you get um, I haven't seen a stock cooler that has run a good temperature um, here you see my temperature down here is at 25 right now that's only because I'm making this video it usually idles at 12 17 and when I game it hardly ever goes above 40 um, and I have an aftermarket hyper 212 um, it works. All right, some of the other issues I'm going to go through here. We'll go to control panel. If you do not see uh, this, what I'm seeing right now, all you have to do is you probably see this initially. Just go to large icons and then you'll see everything. Then you want to go to system. Okay, another thing you want to check here, see where it says install memory RAM? you want to see if it says usable in like some kind of parentheses or something and it says seven point something that's usually the first indication that there's some sort of memory issue doesn't mean it's bad memory though alright so go to advanced systems after this settings now this is what I recommend alright this is pretty much a user's preference but this helps not use a lot of resource and it doesn't take the Windows 7 glow away all right, so check the bottom four. Well, custom size. Check the bottom four. Skip three and check that one. Now under advanced system setting. Now here what I did instead of automatic, I went to unchecked it with the custom size. And whatever it said recommended, I typed that in the top box and I typed it in the bottom box. Now you're going to see a different number here because I use a flash drive. It's what's called Ready Boost. Uh, basically extends the memory of my computer a little bit basically when I like open all my photos and pictures and videos they they almost open up instantly instead of you know taking a little bit of time um, that's also something that you might uh, want to try to help push you through memory errors doesn't always work because if you have these issues um, it's not always the fix but it's definitely recommended alright and uh, you'll see this in not only my video but many others alright the other thing I'm going to recommend for you is the display has stopped responding. Now there is a manual way to do that, but um, since here in the last year I found Microsoft has this fix it. So apparently it's definitely a, a big issue. Um, when you go to the page, you first open it up, scroll down, look for the little Mario Brother looking dude, and click on fix it. And just follow the steps. Very simple. The other thing I'm going to recommend for you is to unlock your multi-core processors. All right, I do have a video up about this. Um, this is the registry key code. Um, now, if you want to check to make sure you have a uh, <coughs> part cores, is what they call it, you'll probably start here. You want to click on the performance tab, then the resource monitor. Now, a lot of times the uh, CPU tab might not be highlighted if you haven't been here before, so you want to highlight the CPU tab. All right, all these cores start mathematically correct, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. And yeah, I have an 8 core. 
Now, if you see uh, CPU zero, if you see something that says parked next to it, or it could be blinking on and off, so leave it up there for a few minutes to see if they are parked. If you do have that, basically this causes, like in gaming especially, uh, causes a little bit of stutter, and it you know almost feels like your computer's underpowered, and you know you have this you know eight core processor that might not be the best in the world, but you know it should absolutely push through Battlefield 4, World of Warcraft, whatever game it is you might be playing. Um, so, with that being said, you definitely want to have, you definitely want to unlock these cores. This video, I'll leave a link below. Uh, it's very quick, very easy to do. Um, you just have to run through your registry, find it, and you would have to change the, it's usually the max, and you just modify it to zero, and it unparks your core. That will also cause a reset, you know, cause you to, not cause you to restart your part, but you'll require a restart. <coughs> So check that out. Um, these tips, I, like I said, I get a lot of comments, um, and I've been typing this stuff out. So <clears throat> I'm going to make a video here because I obviously can't always be right on top of the channel as much as I want to be here for everybody. So I'm going to make this video. These are some of the simple steps and tests that you can do to rule out before you want to change your memory. Now, if you do all these things, and it, like I said, nine times out of ten, it's not a video card. But if you're overclocking and stuff like that, make sure you put your stuff back to stock. You know what I mean? To find out, make sure it's not because you're overclocking. Uh, especially if you're overclocking with a stock cooler. It, you, it's definitely don't go together. Uh, peanut butter and pickles. You know what I mean? You don't overclock with a stock cooler. Um, make sure your memory's in 2 and 4, like I said. Um, keep the dust free. All right. Now, if you do all these things and you're still having this problem, chances are it's memory. So, uh, and if you're mixing memory, is also it's a no-no. The timing, you know what I mean? They, you know, things have to work in sync in a computer in order for them to work smoothly. So, I hope this helps for you guys. Uh, try these tests. Leave your comments below. I definitely will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, summertime is pretty busy around here, so I'll do my best. Also, uh, leave your comments. Please subscribe um, if you like it. Yes or no? You know, let me know. Uh, that's the only way we'll know. Uh, my name is Tim. Thank you for watching Chris and Tim's Simple How-To videos, and have a great day and a better tomorrow. Thank you.